I guess it's fairly obvious why I called this clock boomerang. There's nothing particularly groundbreaking or special about the mechanism of this clock. I've used a brocot escapement and I've made the pallets adjustable. The dowels can be rotated so more or less of the pallet face can be presented to the tooth. I've got a grub screw that allows me to then set the pallet in place. This is a 60 beat per minute clock. I've broken the plainness of the pendulum by putting the gecko in the middle and a wombat on the bottom. With the gecko in the middle of the pendulum I found that I needed very little weight in the wombat bob. As you've probably already guessed this clock is all about inlay technique that I learnt from Steve Good. And as you know, if a job's worth doing, it's worth doing to excess. Yes, I know I've overdone it, that the clock looks very busy, but I couldn't help myself. I just love this inlay. I've used Australian animals throughout using an Aboriginal drawing theme. So I've got geckos and kangaroos, wombats, emus, sea turtles. As you can see I've inlaid all the wheels as well as the frame and also the weight bucket. The clock uses a no key wind mechanism and there's a little sea turtle hanging on the counterweight. The hour hand is a shark and the minute hand is a stylized fishing spear. The second hand is a baby sea turtle. The frame is made from recycled blue gum. This clock has been all about woodworking technique. It's been a pleasurable build and I'm happy with the outcome.